The views and opinions expressed on any programme are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the programme and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to another show of Table Topics. That's it. So, so what? How you doing the there on the? Uh, how you doing there on the White House? That's what I see. It's all yeah. white. So yeah, that's well. It's the sun's out today, so it's yeah. It's very very clean. Very. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> the sun the sun is out and it's nice. Yeah. But I'm saying yeah. that that I look, I see you in the White House. I'm in the White House. I'm yes. Sorry. We're oh here. You're talking about here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, it's this, white. Yeah, only this room's White House. <laughs> I mean, so there's only one room, <laughs> one or two rooms in the house that are white. I don't know. It's called lazy. You know, you just do the whole I, thing. The ceiling. I think it's coincidence. What's that? I I think it's I think it's coincidence then that uh, that you are in the white room. Yeah. No, well, I, I know. I know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's just plan. That's all. That's all that means. <laughs> hey, maybe you start getting the calls to run for president. Oh no! Because oh, no, thanks. Because I'm I'm starting I'm starting getting the calls to run for mayor. So oh, guess what? Yeah. Well, at least city council, city council can. <laughs> uh, at least you know something. Probably we could uh, keep the show going as a president and a mayor. Yeah. There you go. There you go. No, I'm, I'm, I'm all set. <laughs> I'm not, you know what I mean? You, yeah, I'm all set with that. I have a whole different uh, perspective on that. But, you know what I mean? Everything starts out good. You know what I mean? And then, you know, what is it that well, the Rotel is John, good intentions? John, one day, one yes. day, yes. you don't need yes. to, to be born in America to be an uh, American president. Oh, probably. You know what I mean? Probably. <laughs> Any, anything can change, Carlos. You know what I mean? At this point, is. You know, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything is possible. I mean, we have, you know, we have, fo we, we are all walking around with these masks, right? We all have to wear our masks wherever you go. However, we have thousands of people crossing the southern border that are, they don't know whether they're getting tested or not. And then they're putting them in dormitories, which are a danger to them, a danger to the staff. And then letting them out in the general public, so a danger to everybody in the country. And there's no big thing, but God help you if you go into a store without a mask, you'll probably get arrested. <laughs> right? Uh, probably depend on the state. Depend yeah. on the state, because yes. uh, I mean, if you're in Texas, you're all set. You can uh, you can go to any store. Well, that's called freedom. That's called freedom, America, freedom. Uh, yeah, freedom for you, but the hell with the others. Uh, I don't know about that, Carlos. Most people are getting their vaccines. As long as I'm free, I don't care if I kill somebody. No, that's not. As the long case. as I'm I'm free, I don't care if I kill somebody. No, that's not the case, Carlos. You need to go after all these different governors. That it's free or die. No, that has nothing to do with that. You know what I mean, uh, uh, John? Carlos, look, free or die. No, live free or dies New Hampshire. However, this is the funny part. You probably notice is we have to wear these masks. Fine. But when you go to a store, people think they have these masks on. They can get right on top of you and stand near you. My feeling is I have to wear this mask. I don't want you on top of me. Just because you have a mask on doesn't mean that you can get on top of people. I'd rather you stay six feet away from me and you don't have to have the mask on, but don't come near me. You know, because you get this false sense of protection mm -hmm. from these masks and people think they can come right on top of you. The mask, and I've read this many times and I've talked to different doctors, the masks are only 40% effective. I understand that's better than zero, mm -hmm. but it's only 40%, uh, you know, protecting you. So I don't want somebody standing right near me. <laughs> but that's well, I think, I think here... What I think in December, you're still gonna have people dying from COVID. 
Yep. Half of the country will be vaccinated, and then it's those that don't want to get vaccinated because they are they want to be free. And what happened is, if they if they die, then you know, I mean, it was their choice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if people get vaccinated, then that's that's you know, if somebody else doesn't get vaccinated, that's on them. But I don't think that's what's going to happen, Carlos. That's not what's going to happen. I think because know, here here's one thing. If you have a group of six people, yeah. If you have a group of six people, uh, four are vaccinated, two are not vaccinated. Okay. They get infected. They get infected. Okay. Yep. They have a good chance to die, or maybe yep. fight fight it off. But they have a good chance uh, uh, a good chance to die. Yep. At this point, it's it was their choice. They cannot blame in anybody else. They cannot blame in anybody. They cannot blame the president. They not can blame the, 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 the governor, the chief of police, the mayor. They cannot blame nobody else because the, the vaccines was available, was your choice yeah. not to take them. That's and fine. you got affected. And you that, got that, affected. So, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We, in December, we still want to have people dying from, from COVID because... Those people that don't believe in vaccination or are afraid to take the vac the vaccines gonna stay get, have a, a chance to get affected. Yeah, well, it's possible. It's possible. Anything's possible. But you know, it is like I said. We, you know, you're you're. you're you see here? Yes, sir. Is that your that's, second dose? Is that the second dose? That's my. Yes, that's my passport to freedom. Oh my god! Oh my god! I hear you. I hear you. That's not a hundred percent proof, though, my friend. You're still Ninety. It's only ninety-five percent uh, proof, right? So you're going to be hurting people going on planes. <laughs> hey, you know something? If after this, after this, if I still get affected, I will blame Trump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever, right? Whatever. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. So. What, uh, what, 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 what else? What else is on the agenda? And, and so, I, um, and I, and I probably, let's. Uh, and I, Carlos, I probably wouldn't, um, you know, think anything bad. I'd probably be, hey, you're right. You know, if you're in charge, you take the blame. <laughs> you were in charge during then, you know. So, but anyway, go ahead. So, <laughs> so let's uh, um, bring a locally. Yes. Let me put this on my. So, if we bring a locally. Yeah. Are you been uh, following the uh, the meetings lately, the uh, city council meetings, the uh, uh, soap opera of the school committee meetings? Are you been um, updated on, on those? Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been seeing them. I'm kind of to the point where, all right, you know what I mean. It, you've enough has come out about this. We have other things going on in the city. Let's let's move forward with that. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. and I, 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 that you know, holding up the whole stu uh, the whole construction thing there because you want the superintendent to come in there. Why do they want the superintendent to go in there? Why? Yeah, you know I mean, they want it. They want the superintendent to go in there so they can call them out. I get it. I, I get it. But I mean, don't hold up projects just because of that. Because they're not. No matter what they do, if they're going in there just to call the guy out, that's not. That's not going to accomplish anything. You know what I mean? Move move forward with the city's business. And this is, I, I, I understand the whole premise behind this, Carlos. I understand the whole thing. Yeah, I don't agree with some of it. However, this is why I feel nothing gets done in the city. Because people jump on something and they won't let it go and they won't let it go. And then nothing else gets done in the interim. That, that's what but, my concern is. Yeah, but when comes, when will come the time to make the people accountable for the mistakes yeah well i mean i hopefully they hope that, you know what i mean i don't think the city council needs to do that you know what i mean non-stop like stopping all their business for that i i understand the uh you know the whole premise behind this thing i i get the whole thing things shouldn't have been said they were admitted i get that whole thing i i, I don't agree with it i mean we've had conversations on this show, I don't agree with that. I don't like how it was handled with certain things, but it comes to a point where like, you know, let it go to a point. Don't let it affect other business such as the Durfee stuff there. 
You know what I mean? Let's let mm-hmm. this come out, move forward, and then come back to it. But don't hold things back because you want to, you know what I mean, go through and roll somebody over the, uh, over the uh, coals. Uh, yeah. I, I understand the reading why, but don't screw up other business. And that's well, not an issue. We have, with the, with the construction of Durfee, we have two different problems there. Yeah. You have the problem of the uh, already problems on the, on the building. Okay, that w- w- that the taxpayer was never um, uh, informed about. Yeah. Like I told you on the other on the other show. Yeah. It's you you working you do a mistake. Yeah. But you don't cover up. If you have somebody doing doing your bathroom, yeah. and you do a mistake, he's yeah. going to let you know. You yeah. know, I did this you wrong, hope. so I have to I have to fix it. Right. Yeah. But that's yeah, that's what the. Uh, but that's what the good construction person is going to tell you is Absolutely. this this was done wrong. We're going to fix it. Yeah. They're not going to hide from you, fix it. And then when it's done, tell you, but guess, guess what? Uh, that was a mistake there, but we fix it for you. Yeah, no, I hear you. You know I what I'm saying? That. No, so I, that's- I, I, I hear you with that. I, I, I definitely do. I understand it. I, um, you know, I mean, nobody wants to have. The, the whole Durfee mess. I mean, my opinion is totally different with that. We should have just kept the other school and fixed little bits, little bits, little bits along the way. Because now we have this new school that we're not, we don't have the money to maintain. So are mm-hmm. we going to have another oh, Durfee in 40, 50 years? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Probably. You know what I mean? We have yeah. a $9 million school. I mean, let's, let's face it, folks. Do we really have the money to maintain a $9 million pool? You know, so I mean, I think we yeah. got to look at we're not and now yet. we have, and now we need we need money for for the field too. Yeah. It has to be the best field, which which makes no sense. Yeah, I, I put this analogy to like what I see. You know what I mean? When I was younger, it was different, and I think when you were younger, it was different. And I'll just give you an example in Fall River. In the last year, I have seen more Landovers or Range Rovers, BMWs. Acuras than I've ever seen. I've even seen a Maserati in Fall River recently. Okay. And it had mm-hmm. a mass plate. So maybe it's not from here, but we are a city that the average income is what, $40,000. And we mm-hmm. have, it seems like sometimes we have more of these designer cars like Land Rovers. And you know what? They're probably used still. I, I, I get it. They're, even if they use their $30,000 cars, $40,000 cars. Mm-hmm. And here we are in Fall River doing that. I mean, you you have to you have to go with what you make and what you have, you know. Mm-hmm. So if you're making thirty grand a year and you have a mortgage and all these different things, and you're driving in a Land Rover or Tesla is another one that I see a lot around here now. You're driving in these sixty thousand dollar cars. It's unrealistic, and and, yeah. and it's, until we think of that here. You know, the average person makes forty grand, and we have a nine million dollar pool in our school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know I mean? No, and and uh, when you have a school department, when you have a school that sixty or seventy percent of the kids have breakfast because we pay for it. Yeah, you know, yeah. It makes no sense for us to be putting money into uh, into a pool that uh, that with that price tag or a field or or even a school. That school, it's it's gonna cost us over a quarter of a uh, of a billion dollars. Yeah, a yeah. quarter of a billion dollars over. I know. Okay, so how can how, how can we even afford that? Yeah, well, I mean, and also what I and I I'm still trying to wrap my head around this is when I went to Durfee back in the early '80s. Um, we had 600 kids in a graduating class. We also had like 3,400 kids in the school. And I think now they're down to 2,200 in the whole school. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know why we couldn't have made that old school work and just get rid of, tear down different areas of it and just mix mm-hmm. up what's there. I, I'm, just, I'm just, I understand with the whole construction thing. I get that. I'm quite frankly more concerned with maintaining this building. You know, we've seen all the other buildings in Fall River where what, what have we had? Oh, the air conditioning broke, but we didn't fill out the warranty. So it was null and void. And then here we are having to pay for it. So I, mm-hmm. I'm just concerned really about stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
I I watched the meeting, the last meeting of the um, CPA. He is another. <laughs> he's another problem. Another. I, I don't. I don't watch him. <laughs> I, I just don't, so I um, let me ask you. Let me ask you if you know this: Is the fire museum uh, a private? Uh, yeah, I think business that, or private. What's going on with I, that? Yeah, I think that's a nonprofit, um, and it was probably um, created. I know somebody that was involved. I don't know if he still is, but he was a retired firefighter, um, and they set up a nonprofit. Um, so yeah, why is that one? That's because they've got money well, as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, no. Every time, every time they've been getting money since first year. Every yeah. year they have an application in for something. Yeah. But one thing that caught my my attention was um, they were talking about, uh, um, and I just had turned uh, the show on um, the. Uh, the meeting on on doing those ten minutes because I had fifteen minute break on uh, at work, and they were talking about uh, somebody broke the windows, and they were requesting money to fix the windows. Really? So here's my question: Is yeah. uh, why we should pay for windows that got broke? Why don't they have their own insurance to cover it for that? No, I would agree with that. And plus, what are you going to wait to fix the windows until you're going to leave the windows broken for like six well, months? Well, number one, <laughs> I mean, it's something that, that, that makes sense to me is, number one, I don't know if we own the building. That's number one. Yeah. Or the building, it's private owned. Yeah. Number two, every building and every house needs to have insurance covered. Yeah. For they those, are. if, if a, a business... If a business on Pleasant Street window gets broke during the night, they're going to call the insurance company. They're not going to call the city for money. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, but there we go. And, and I don't know if it was approved because I didn't show that part of the meeting. I don't know if it was approved, but probably it's going to be approved yeah. because guess what? The building got vandalized. The windows got broke. And now we need to, to put new windows on the building. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that sounds kind of crazy to me, but uh, maybe there's more behind it. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not impressed with some of the projects that had moved forward, to be honest with you. So that's why I really don't follow it anymore. Um, you know, giving money to people that are, you know, building apartments or this, that, or the other, I, that's, I, that I don't, I don't think that was what the original intent was of people that were voting for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that it's probably going to be looked at again, considering we're going to have this override that we're going to have to pay for with the school in another year or two. Mm -hmm. um, you know, taxes have gone up a decent amount. Well, I know I know it's a movement of some residents to uh, to put the question on the ballot. They, they're going to request the city council to put the question on the ballot. Uh, and let's, let's the... the, the, the uh, the voters decided if we should keep it or not. Yeah. Um, and another movement out there is to put people in office. The, we need to change city councils. We need to change uh, school committee. So um, it's a movement out there. I already got a call to get involved with the movement, and I have no problem because, yeah. yes, if, if some of them, I want them out of there. So yeah. I will have no problem to get involved with this with this movement. Yeah. Um, is to look for for names and and probably we're gonna put we're gonna dedicate we're gonna invite this group to come into our show and we're gonna just throw some names at the hat that we would like to see run. You know, yeah. just for the yeah. people out there see that that we are uh, looking for candidates that gonna vote for uh, on our behalf that god defend us that are going to speak for us and it's going to be covering for us yeah, yeah. and have been our voice so that's gonna that's gonna come at probably on the next show or or in in couple shows from now i'm working on that um so one they, more uh, go ahead so so they do they have people that they're uh they're interested in trying to get them to run is that what the uh yes group yes is? oh it's it's a group. It's a group that uh, uh, was uh, 
getting together to talk to people that they know they're going to be representing us. So yes. being supporting people that never run before, um, that they should to try, they should run, and this group is going to give them a support, whatever they need to, to run, to put their names to run. So, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> and uh, and I'm pretty sure they uh, they even mentioned when they talked to me, they mentioned your name that uh, that probably you will be uh, interested and in, in be part of it. So I said most likely, you know, knowing John, he he, he, he would like to, to to make some changes too. So yeah. Um, cool. Another thing, um, and we have probably ten minutes left. Is yeah. did you watch the CD uh, address from the no. mayor? No. Fill me you in. You did. Fill me in. <laughs> I told you some of this. I don't. I mean, if it's on too early, and you know, what I mean, I, I just I probably missed it because I know it was probably on early, right? Well, uh, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was uh, five o'clock before city council meeting. All right, yeah, I, I think I, it was I, five o'clock. Yeah, I would. Um, I, was getting, I heard it was on early, and I just I I'm not watching TV at that point. And once again, and once again, you know, I just cut part of it because, yeah. a, as you know, I I have a second job. So <laughs> when I when I'm on break, I I put my phone on and I try to to watch. You know yep. pieces. Yep. Very interesting. By the the part that I that I uh, listened and I listened probably 20, 20, 30 minutes of uh, of it, probably twenty minutes, yeah. 15, 20 minutes maybe. So a couple of things that got to my attention, and I don't know why the mayors do this all the time. Yeah. We did this. 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 If I'm a mayor. If I'm a mayor, yeah. I will have no problem to yeah. say. Remember the, the that project that Korea administration started? Yeah. And we were happy to take over yeah. and to keep the project going. And finally, we finished the project. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do, don't you think? That's don't you think that's happen. something? Yeah, that's never going to happen. That never happens. Yeah, that never happens. Never you have to happen. give credit who started. But left office, and you, and you, you will be. We will thank you for taking over the project and and finalizing the project. You will, we will give you credit for. It. But why don't you give a credit at the different administration that actually started the project? Yeah, yeah. No, I I agree. But that's never going to happen, Carlos. That's never going to happen. You know, well, I will have no problem to 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 uh, you know to say you know he started the he started. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of projects that that I do a lot of events that I do that that I say he came to me with an idea, and he asked for support. I did my part, but guess what? It was an excellent idea. If he hadn't come to me with an idea, we wouldn't have it done. Yeah, that's it. I give him credit. I got my credit. Everybody walks happy, and we are friends. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, uh, but that's another thing. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, that, that's never going to happen. That started with the bike path. Remember the bike path? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before then, it, it, it's just, it's not going to, that's, that's the nature of politics. So, I hear you. Is it wrong? Yes, it's wrong, but you, you're not, you're not going to hear that. You know what I mean? What was, well, forget it. I don't want to get you aggravated. We're running, yeah. we're, we're getting close. So, to the story would probably yeah. be wrong. Another story. thing, another thing that, uh, again, uh, is they love to, to mention the Flint. They just mentioned, what about oh, we're doing some projects on the Flint. But by the way, yeah. but by the way, uh, Bob Caram and Tony Cordero is good investors and they they working and they're doing an excellent job on downtown. Yeah. Okay. Give me one, give me one project, one investment person that are doing something on the flint. Or else don't mention the flint at all. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have if you don't have that information, don't even mention. Yeah. Because Mike Rogers, Senator Mike Rogers, found a million dollars for Pleasant Street. For what? Yeah. Still, a year after, we don't know what the hell we're going to use the money. We're going to end up losing the grant. Yeah. 
because it's no plan. It's nothing. We're going to end up losing the grant. And, and, but they love to mention the flame because they have votes on the flames. It's important for them to, to, to mention the flames, but they don't, but they don't have juice. They don't have juice. They don't have ideas. They don't have plans. They don't have investors. They have nothing for the flames. Nothing. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I mean, I, this should be a plan. Christ, you could even, if you get a million dollars, maybe create some new housing, you know, that people could buy. You know, each, well, if it's, it's a plan, right? it's a, if it's a plan, it's on the draw, close it, seven keys. So nobody sees them. So they don't, they're the only ones know because I don't know anything about. Or, or revitalize, maybe, re, you know, revitalize some of the buildings that make it housing and storefronts. Go just do something like that where it's more attractive. And people don't want to rent there. You know, it's nothing. The only thing is they love to mention the Flint. That's the only thing. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. So you know, I, I guess I didn't miss much during the address, I guess, huh? No, it's, it's all the same thing. It's like it's like they fund. He probably funded the, the, the speech from the mayor before on the draw. And he just, yeah. he I, just said it. He I, just said it. And, and, and another thing is, is the, it's the waterfront. I don't know how many times I have to say, you're going to die and the waterfront is not developing. Well, that, I mean, that that would be, yeah, what is going on with that? I mean, they... Nothing. It's nothing. They don't have nothing. They don't have space to do anything there. No, you think I mean, a hotel, they're going to build a hotel there? Yeah, but I mean, where, what is, you know, something should be happening. Why aren't they putting the marina in there at least? People, there's people are looking for places to dock their boats. Why isn't that done? Is there, there must be something going on with that where they don't have the money, right? Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then you turn, you turn the radio. Uh, the that lady Fox, or her name is uh, yeah, from the, uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, because a lot of land's gonna with the with the completion of the phase two from seventy nine is gonna open a lot, a lot of land. And how many times I told you already, it's gonna open the land for what? We're gonna pay to clean it, okay? And somebody's gonna develop it, and we know who developed stuff in the city. With grants, with grants, with tax free, yeah. we know who they are. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, I yeah. I'd be. You don't hear about that anymore from the city council. Like, what is going on with that project? I thought by now we'd have a marina there, and you know, what I mean, like maybe a restaurant on that on that wharf there. Yeah, and and it's nothing. So I don't. John, John. Yes. I, we need we need to fill up uh, Azores Express plane. Full of these people, yeah, to land to land in Ponta Delgada and see what the waterfront is. Yeah. You, <laughs> all right. I hope you're meaning just to see how the place is, not to not to put these people on the poor people of the Azores. <laughs> <laughs> I believe me, if they do, if they this bad, they will not last in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, that, that is a good example. I mean, it's what I find. Another thing I find amazing there is that the buildings they've kept for generations, you know, oh, yeah. probably hundreds right. of years. Those buildings are hundreds of years old, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, why can't we do cobblestones? Even like New Bedford. Look at New Bedford downtown is really, mm -hmm. they've done an awesome job there with the cobblestones, the restaurants. Um, I, you know, that's one thing that we're really lacking, you know. But, you know something? One very important word. Yeah. Keeping up, maintaining, 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 maintaining. That's it. Yeah. And with that, we're done for another half an hour. John, it was a pleasure. Yep. Uh, yeah. And uh, we need to go out for coffee sometime with the masks. Yeah. Still. Yeah. yeah I don't, I, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, I know. You're right. When, now that it's getting warmer, we can... Go outside because you kiss the yeah. corn places. So yeah, well, we're gonna have to do that, Carlos. Very good, John. See you next week. Yeah. No problem.